the old fish lovers out there. <coughs> I'm just going to make you a little video on how I feed my mandarin bloodworm and Um It's widely known that mandarins only eat coke pots, um, so you have to keep them in a quite a big aquarium to have a healthy population of coke pots to feed these guys. But I've trained mine to eat bloodworms and she's a beautiful healthy female and I'm going to introduce some food now and you'll see how easy it is if you do not put their food in an enclosure they won't have time to eat it all the other fish will grab it before they do so they do need a little bit of time um, and that's why I've made this little compartment to keep their food safe in there and they can go in there and go and eat it at their own time so there she goes and when you get them the first time you're gonna have to put them in a compartment by themselves and give them food or it might take like a day or so to keep them separate until they start eating the blood worm and understand that that's food but once they do understand it you just make yourself a little compartment like this and if you put it in they know they're going to get fed um, you just condition them like that and there you go they eat blood worm brown shrimp whatever you actually want to feed them in there the most important thing is that they have time to eat and the other fish can't steal their food. I don't switch off my flow at all. Um, the tank carries on as, good, as normal. And once they've got a good feed, and the other fish hasn't had enough, then we'll feed them separately. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope this is gonna help you to go and buy yourself a mandarin and enjoy this beautiful fish.